Welcome to Airbrush and Pew. I'm Carl. Hello. So we're here today, we're going to do a review of the MX-10 Salcon in synthetic stock. Caleb will take us through all the specs and so on that we've got. And let's go for it. Caleb, what do we have here? Okay, so first of all, if we look at the box, it comes with two magazines, gun oil, nice Salcon gun oil. It comes with your Allen keys and your spare fork probe and uh, manual. And if you just look in the box here, Salcon has paid quite careful attention to detail in even the hinges of this box. So quite nice, good quality box. So as you know, this is 0.22 caliber, synthetic stock. It comes with the regulator. Uh, and by the way, the gun does have a two-year warranty as well. It's got your nice bullpup shape. It's got your um, shroud barrel but it doesn't really silence this more for the looks and you can fit a silencer on the front here it's got a side cocking lever spoon type very nice fits in the hand and it's got a very nice trigger as well not adjustable either and another thing that you can notice is that it has picatinny rail on the top here so you can adjust or put any picatinny rail uh, scope mount so that when you can have different scopes you can put it on here and you can move it wherever as you please or even if you want to just take this off just note which um, notch it's laying in and you can put back the same scope that you sighted it in and it will work that's why everything is going over to Picatinny Rail. Picatinny Rail is pretty awesome if you see it's got a little cheek, uh, cheek piece here you can remove it or you can have it on um, I see it has got Picatinny Rail a uh, little piece at the back here. So if you do not have the high quality camera equipment that we are using, you can add, actually put uh, another little camera fitting on the back here and you can film with your phone through here. So this is pretty neat. You know, um, that more, more I can talk about the, this magazines. If you have a look, it's got like a little magnet at the bottom. So it's quite a positive clip when you push it in you know so it stays in place so when it's open it doesn't just fall out it just clips in so when you put it in there it's got like that click so it's quite sturdy um, for mo if you check we are shooting at JSB 18 grain pellets at 850 feet per second the regulator like Caleb said is set at 120 bar um, full pressure we do it up to 100 uh, 200 uh, bar uh, if you have a look at our trigger here uh, it's not adjustable because it runs with the linkage to the back. You can find a tune the uh, trigger shear at the back here, but rather don't do it if you don't know what you want to do. Um, send it in to us, we can set it for you, try and set it for your liking. Um, and that's it, let's go check how we shoot with this thing. We're going to actually shoot at 30 meters just to shoot it in. And then we're going to take it out to 50 meters and we're going to do a five shot grouping and then afterwards we'll shoot some destructive targets and see how that does. See you now. Bye. So we are at 50 meters. We're going to do a five shot grouping with a Salcon MX-10 in synthetic stock. Um, we are doing grouping uh, sizes now. So we are got it on a nice bench here. So let's see what groupings we can get at 50 meters. So that will be my hold point and then obviously it will fall down to the first mill dot or something for 50 meters we shot it in at 30 meters so let's check Eight hundred twenty-eight feet per second not bad and if you can see this trigger here it's very nice the blade fits nicely on my index fingers pad And it's pretty accurate as you can see through the scope cam um, one thing that you need to notice this is a bullpup so it's got a shorter barrel so shorter barrels um, tend to be uh, like they say less speed but 820 feet per second is going to be nice um, to do pest controlling with uh, birds and so on and we are using the JSB 18 grain That is insanely good. So 
So if you check that one changed a little bit with the speed. I don't know why that changed, but unfortunately that grouping does it for me. I'm pretty excited and uh, happy about that. Um, as you can see, this cheek piece we had to take off because I've got the low scope mount. So if you do get it, just get the higher scope mounts that you can see in a properly with your cheek piece. Um, the magazine can only be loaded in from the left to, I mean from the right to the left. Um, yeah, so it is a little bit on my side, but it doesn't even bother me that much. If you can look, because some people would say, yeah, it will bother them, this and that, but it doesn't even bother me. So it looks pretty good. Um, let's go see how that grouping look down there. And we're going to do another, quite a little bit of exciting thing. We're going to check the re reactive targets. I think that's going to be quite nice to check what this gun will do. I mean, those little things that we're going to be shooting now are the ones that fell on the floor. And we're not wasting food. But yeah, let's go check how that grouping was. So as you can see, we are taking the plums from the ground here. The old ones that fell off. Uh, really, they're a bit rotten. So if you can see there, we are shooting these ones. So we're not wasting food. Beautiful tree. Have a look at this five shot grouping. That was my aim point with the wind blowing here. There's a five shot grouping, which isn't too bad. So we'll just place these bad boys on the top here. Just claim a foul can't shoot. Claim a can't shoot. That's a great job. So it's pretty easy to load it up. It's even got an arrow to show which side you should turn it. It should turn underneath the tension of this magazine. Once it's got the pellet in there facing down, then you can load up all these. And then that's it, it's 12 shot magazine. That's how easy it is, look at that. Salkin has got a nice magazine. There we go, last one, that's it. Now we sort it. Okay, so I'm going to shoot those plums down there at 50 meters with the wind that's blowing. Let's check how it does. Oh, that looks so bloody cool, man. Yo, that was explosion. Okay, some of them fell down. Okay, let's check. There's the second one. Let's go for the second one. Yo, that was a destructive target. Right there. Almost the only Yep. 